Okay, friends, this is a training on, sorry, we have a new blending brush and I haven't used it on my eyes. These are some new products, but I don't know when you're watching. So welcome, whether you are brand new or whether you have been in Mary Kay for a while, this is like age old training that if you're brand new, you don't actually need for quite a bit until you have some referrals and you really can have referrals right away. Um, let me just, this is trainings on referrals. Let me just say when I first started, if this might make you feel good, I had a list. I made a list of people that I knew and it was people I worked with. This look, this might give you some ideas. So you might put this on some paper. It was people that I waitressed with people that were hostesses there. Um, people that were from church, people that I just graduated from high school. So some of my old roommates and friends around there. And then family is probably what was on my list. And I remember being on my knees on my floor using the Power Start booking script. So if you're new, that's where you start. Just trust me. Just do it. It's kind of scary, but just do it. And <laughs> it was really good to practice, right? Because um, you'll notice on all the scripts, this is what I really love. They're all the same. It's all, hey. The reason I'm calling, here's who I am, the reason I'm calling, if you're friends, you might chat for a second, but you always want to say the reason I'm calling so they know uh, you're not going to like just weasel Mary Kay in there every time you call, that it's just you're calling about that as well as checking on them. Um, and then, for example, the reason you're calling might be, um, I have this crazy challenge for my director, or you were one of my um, entries into a facial box for a free facial. Do you have a minute so I can tell you about that? Or um, we met at Rosa's Cafe the other day, and I was calling to tell you about uh, the gift of a facial and gift card you were given. Okay, so, the, so who you are, hi, the reason you're calling, and then... Maybe give them a little bit of details about it. Um, power start, you're, that's already kind of part of it. You're telling them my director challenged me to practice on 30 faces in 30 days. I thought of you because you would laugh with me, not at me. Can I borrow your face? Um, facial box is, you were one of my winners. Do you have a second for me to tell you about it? Great. So, um, so at McAllister's Deli or whatever, Baker Brothers, those are the ones I used to use. Um, we do um, giveaways for a Baker Brothers gift card as well as free Mary Kay. And you were one of my winners. You have a $10 um, Mary Kay gift card for you and up to six of your friends, which will include some more free products as well the day of um, to spend, whatever. If she, you know, like a hostess program, I don't, you know, I don't really go into all the details right away sometimes. But anyways, or if it was we met the other day, we met the other day, I gave you that cute little goodie bag and I wanted to, to go over that with you. And uh, do you have a second for me to tell you about that? Awesome. You won a free facial microdermabrasion. I love these words. Free facial microdermabrasion treatment, color consultation, and a gift card. Um, which the, the, that specific phrase I stole from Christy, I was her assistant in her office and she actually had me book for her. She was like, I will pay you to do some booking calls for me. If you want to get really confident, book for somebody else, like have a sister or a friend and be like, Hey, here's my list uh, of people. Like if it's strangers, you call mine and I'll call yours. Just tell me when you're available and give me your phone number. I always had to like I do this for people like even new consultants so like write their phone number on the top of the page and their name so I can remember when I'm leaving messages or something like, you know, my phone number, which is not really my phone number. So anyways, that's really helpful because you're not afraid of getting like shot down. Also, if you can find a booking partner, if you don't have one, recruit her and just make someone that you love, join your team just so you can have somebody to, you know, recruit. Uh, or to, to do life with a do Mary Kay with it's so much fun and you guys will enjoy it together. Or go to meetings, honestly. Uh, the world's opening back up after COVID. Uh, you can go to a meeting and and find your people. I have people, not so much in, in Hobbs, so I just have to like sit down with like a coffee and just like make my calls or whatever. But uh, it's really fun to have booking partners um, a couple times a week that you just sit together and you make your calls together. If that's you, some people might want to loan. I like watching my friend get shot down and then I'm like, oh, I could do that. And then watching her book one, I'm like, I could do it. It's just kind of fun. And then we like reward ourselves with smoothies. <laughs> okay. Um, so 
yeah, there's a basic outline. Then you book her. So after you tell her about it, um, you book her. And you don't honestly wait. The only time I've, I ask is uh, with the Power Start booking script that says, can I borrow your face? Because they're just going to say yes, usually. Unless they're like, uh, no, let me tell you this. My first, uh, like, people that I booked, um, I just remember everything so vividly when I was brand new. Uh, I got a no to a bartender friend wait, who was a waitress and a hostess with me um, who ended up signing up later and we both became directors together. So funny. Uh, with somebody else. <laughs> she signed up with somebody else. She said no. She just didn't have time. And then I had a couple others say no around me. I had a couple say yes, but some were like kind of yes eventually. Um, I had a church. My pastor's daughter said yes, and she brought Marissa um, who is now one of my best friends was in my wedding. Lovely. She was like a mentor for me, uh, as a new Christian when I started Mary Kay. And then, uh, so Denise and, uh, Courtney said, yes, I had a party at my grandma's. My mom of course did facials and was one of my best customers. She just trusted me to try it and she looks hot for it. So she's, I'm glad she did Mary Kay. And then who else do we have? Um, but isn't that funny? Like I can remember, uh, Roberta from church said, yes. And then I don't know what happened, but I started getting desperate. And from these parties or facials that I had, I did tell them to bring some friends to help me hit my 30. I was like, I'll give you a microderm if you bring five friends and I'll give to those five more, you know, and then it just started getting crazy. Um, and then I even did one more power start, power start after that. I learned by having that big goal um, to, to throw something at that, that I knew they were, might be excited about at getting them to gather more friends. And then them to gather more friends. And um, so somehow I did two power starts back to back with honestly not a very big list. And um, and it's so funny to remember the ones that said no. This is one of my very first customers just asked me for a product. She hasn't ordered in probably 10 years. You know, it's so funny. She just, uh, she was at a waitress with me at Applebee's too, where I started my game. Um, was she on my team? No, I think she was a customer. So all that to say from that like handful that actually said yes, I think that's how I booked some others. And then I quite immediately had to um, put some facial boxes out, which is how I got my first facial. There was a box and all it said was register for a free facial. Um, so I'm about to do a series and you'll, if, if this is just a training on YouTube, like you'll see this series come back. I mean, you'll, you'll, it will go, we'll go back through these ideas, of course, through meetings throughout the year. So don't you worry um, but on how, on all the different ways to like meet people and maybe how the scripts are tweaked. Um, anyways, I, I got really good at doing referrals because I didn't really love warm chatting, which is like meeting people. I really did like go out and like meet people and like hand them a gift card and get their info. But I literally felt like I was going to puke the whole time. And I even had a friend and her mom, they were like, are you okay? And I was like, Oh, there's my sign that I don't need to be going up to people if I look like I'm dying. Anyway, so I found referrals to be my favorite way to book. And of course, still um, the warmest way for me to book is, of course, if I have a friend and Mary Kay just comes up and I'm like, hey, have you, have you tried a facial before? I'd love to give you one, you know, and a gift card. If I say, personally, if I say I'm giving you a gift card, I, I feel like I'm giving her something and I also feel like hopefully she won't think I'm just trying to like sell to her, you know, so, and then bring some friends and I'll give you more free. So that's the, like the best way, right? Um, and if you're, if you're new, please use your power start script. If you haven't done that yet. And even talk to me on the phone and practice on me because you will have the most yeses. Normally it's one out of six that say yes. If you use that power start booking script with people that you no, like you're going to get a lot of yeses. Please try that. Like just trust me. Like it's really awkward, but just trust me. Um, so just the rest of the script, besides can I borrow your face, if I'm talking to somebody you'll see in this referral booking script, I'm just going to go straight into, you won a free facial microdermabrasion treatment color consultation and a gift card. Congratulations. Have you ever tried Mary Kay before? I do say that. That's, the, that's like the only question I ask because for some reason, you don't really want yes or no questions. You just kind of give them two options and let them pick one. <laughs> um, you don't, you're not usually like, are you interested? You're like, which one? 
which one's the best for you? Like, which one suits you the best? You know, instead of, do you want to do that? Or are you interested in doing that? I don't know why those like are like maybe weak or not weak. Um, they're not, um, courageous. They're not bold. They're not assuming that like maybe, maybe taking like responsibility, like she's going to have fun ownership that this is going to be great. She needs this. Not that she needs this, but she might need this in one way. I want to give this to her. It's not excited or enthusiastic. Like, is it, is that, are you, is that something that you're interested in? Like assume she's like interested, um, because you know more than she knows and, and, and assume that. And so you're like, what works best for you weekdays or weekends? So you're, you're kind of, Oh, I do ask, have you ever tried Mary Kay before when I don't know them? Because I, or if I do know them, because I want to know if they already have a consultant and not steal her if she does. If they're like, no, I'm like, oh, let me tell you about it. So we meet um, and I teach you about your skin and I teach you how to do makeup. Nobody else does that. And you get a gift card to spend on something that you might love at the end of the week. So I kind of uh, give her a little bit of info. Um, and if she says yes, she has tried Mary Kay. I'm like, awesome. Do you have anybody that takes care of you right now? Um, as far as your Mary Kay needs that you've purchased from in the last year. And if she's like, no, then I'm like, great. And we pick a date. So then you book her. What's best for you? Blank or blank? Blank or blank. And um, this is a little awkward because we're like still kind of virtual, kind of not. And I haven't really done a lot of referrals. Um, I do. I have been getting referrals from like Hydra Session virtual appointments. Um, so, but I'm probably just going to call them and schedule to meet with them nowadays. So I'm just going to assume we're meeting with them in person. Um, I think it would just be a slight change that you can ask me about if we are actually, if you're going to book a referral that lives somewhere really far away for something virtual, which we've been doing really well. So that shouldn't be hard to be like, Hey, your friend so-and-so had a virtual facial with me with some advanced skincare and she loved it. And where you can win a lot of free fun things from me and say her name. And she thought that you would want to come. And, and in that case, you might even ask the hostess if she wants to, the girl who introduced you, if she wants to have those friends come to a little group, something too, and be the hostess. So, um, right. Uh, you book her and then you coach her. Coaching would be something like, um, all right, let me just tell you how it's going to go. I've got this little invite that you're going to send to a few of your friends and they're going to text me for a goodie bag where I can ask them about their skin. And I'll let you know who's coming. I'm excited for you. You get a free mascara for gathering some women. Okay, so that's coaching. Maybe let her know you're in a text or a reminder because you would need reminders. I'm so sorry if an alarm goes off. And also, I have to check my baby's skin. One sleeping baby. I have technically a nanny uh, watching them, but she went to get her kids and everything's napping. So I just. I'm recording a training. Okay. <sighs> referrals. I fell in love with referrals because um, getting getting uh, names out of facial boxes, uh, you have to like go pick it up, check it, put new ones there. You have to check it pretty often. And technically there's like, people are saying nowadays you want like 10 out there so that you're really getting a lot of names to call. Uh, I probably had like three or four out at a time and, and we'll go over that, but you just ask the person that works there if you could do that and give away like monthly a gift card from their establishment as well. Um, kind of as their kind of pay plus making them feel good about letting you put that there. Mm. Uh, I love customer appreciations. I really liked to, where you stand at the front door and you're like, welcome to McAllister's, it's customer appreciation day. Um, we're giving away free McAllister's and free Mary Kay. You hand them a clipboard and they write down their info. That's really fun too. Every event or facial box, there was one good thing that would come out of it. Um, so I might get 40 or 50 names and then there was one good party or one good team member. But I don't know if that sounds like a lot, but I was glad for that. Like one awesome thing when I went out and did that. So um, those are awesome. What I love about referrals is a girl does a facial. Just pretend I'm getting a facial. And you're like, oh, isn't this fun? While this mask sits, write down some friends' names and numbers that you think would have fun and want to do what we did. Flip it over to the back side. Question number 11. And this is all written in the referral document. Um, it's under files on our team page. Get your pen. Flip, it, flip over your card to the back side. 
On question number 11, there, there's a place for names and numbers. If any friends, if you think they were here, you think you would have fun and want to do what we did, I want you to write that down. This is a good time. Grab your cell phone. And I'm going to give you a ticket per name for our little drawing that we're doing for these cute little prizes in the center of the table. If you'll write down some names, I'm going to give you, and this is when they start writing, I'm going to give you a ticket per name, and whoever gets the most tickets is going to get, the most names is going to get 10 extra tickets. And they start, like, writing. Unless there's just two of them, then they're, like, awkward about competing with each other. But if there's, like, three or more, then they start, like, competing. And I'm like, you go all the way down into the pink section if you want to. Most people do, like, 15 to 20 names in a couple minutes. And then I'll put a song on on my phone. So, like, I like, for some reason, Maroon 5 or, like, it's kind of like a good <laughs> party. It's my party station for some reason. And and play a song while they while they're doing that. While they're doing it, I'm passing out some tickets. I'm just tearing it. I like these double ones like from Dollar Tree. Just having to spirit rolls from the side of Walmart. I give them one side of the ticket. I keep the other side, and I tear mine up in a jar, and I give them one. Or I wait till they have like five, and I hand them a whole strip of five. Okay. I love the ticket game for that. So if you're virtual, that might be kind of like your comments or, or how you keep track of points for participation, the tickets instead. So what I love is at the end of each party, I have 15 names per person. Or if someone was like kind of awkward she like about it, she might have just given me three. I still have 30 names at the end of each party. Isn't that cool? And then here's what else I love about it. If she's like about booking a second appointment. So I'm sitting down with the girl here who just filled out this form. And she's, and I'm like, okay, girl, for your second appointment, let's do a little color together and let's invite your friends. Do you want to do a hydro session facial? Do you want to do like a basic skincare with some dash out the door color? Or do you want to do like some advanced color for your second appointment? And she's like, um, I want to do, I'll do like advanced skincare. Okay, awesome. I, oh, and I love these words from Christy, by the way, write this down. I owe you a second date. Isn't that cute? I owe you a second date. And one thing I started doing before we went virtual was I'm going to give you another gift card at this appointment. And I even, I think I had like a booking game where I had like little gift cards and everybody got to draw. If they said they would book a second appointment during my table close, um, then they got to like pull what their gift card was to spend because that makes them come back, if that makes sense. Um so, of course, you don't have to do that. Some will just come back anyways. Um, I just was doing that. I just remembered. Um, so, sorry. Look at my nails. I said pretty. I get excited. My sparkly cup. This is my, I feel so proud today. All right, focusing. Um, what was I saying? Uh, so, I'm sitting with her. And so, as a booking tool also, if she's like, oh, I don't know if any friends will come. And I'll be like, hey, girl, we've got all these friends on the back of the page. What if I give you a little, I, I'll screenshot you this page and I'll give you a message to send them. And let's see if, if one of these girls want to come. And if they don't, I'll give them a gift card in your honor. But if they do, then you'll get free stuff for it. So it's a really good like tool because most of it's so funny. A lot of them, not a lot or most, I don't know how many will say, I don't really know anybody. And I'm like, girl, you just roll down 28. You can use that. It's kind of funny. Okay. Now I've got this power start. I think this is it. Yeah, it is. Okay, so I had I have done so many referrals. Okay, so this I think I've been a really long story short trying to say I love referrals because I'm calling a girl. Sorry, this is these are these. Okay, they're not mine. Sorry, I was like I thought it was a cookie. I'm like oh cookie. Okay. <laughs> Anyways, I like it because. Um, I mean, I have a, a girl that I have facial that she knows that I'm saying got a facial and chose her to get a gift of a free facial. Who does that? Microdermabrasion treatment. That's expensive. Color consultation. Nobody teaches color. And a gift card. So I'm literally saying this girl gifted you with a facial. And so they know she had it and she liked it and she gifted it. Um, so there's something really like warm, they say like a cold lead is maybe like someone you've never met before or something, but like a warm lead is like a good friend or, you know, this girl that her friend probably liked you and enjoyed you if you weren't scary. It's not be scary, right? Um, 
And I love that. This is this is your my secret to not being scary is I have hand creams that are 75 cents, you know, or whatever, wrapped and lots of little gifts, maybe some dove dark chocolates in the middle of the table so that people feel, you know, loved and, and special, have some water bottles for them, um, have some giveaways. They get a gift card at their next one. You're just making them feel all warm and lovey. And then, and then they're going to want to invite their friends to their next one because you're so cool. And they're going to, uh, their friends, if, if their friend texts them and says, hey, did you have a facial? They should be like, oh my gosh, yeah, it was fun. One stuff, you know? So, so yeah. Um, all right. So here in this document, I'm going to go over it. So you can just write stuff down if you want to, but there's some fill in the blanks. So here we go. I love referrals. I get like, oh, I say like a lot. My husband was saying <laughs> I get 40 or more names per party. I will never run out of people to call and gift with Mary Kay, even moving. So this is also cool. Moving. Um, I had one list of referrals that a consultant was like, I'm never going to go to Seminole. And I was about to move to Hobbs. She said, here's a list of five names. I built Seminole and a little bit of Lubbock out of this list of five names because one girl got a facial and brought a friend and those two girls wrote down some names and numbers, some referrals. So try to make it fun, lighthearted. I would definitely have tickets. When I first started asking for names and numbers was really awkward for me. Um, but once, once you have some prizes and some tickets, like they literally, the second that you say tickets for some door prizes, they start writing. So just do that and then it won't feel awkward by the way. All right. Um, so that's how my whole business down here grew when I moved from the Lubbock area. And we're still majorly in Lubbock as a team and now because of COVID everywhere. So, uh, however, when, when, when there wasn't this virtual world for me, I needed to be able to keep doing facials. And just because I had five names, I was able to do it. So here's, here's what I said. And here's some tips. Um, first tip, pick a blank to book consistently each week, a week. Um, day, pick a day to book consistently each week. If you're in my team, we have a weekly challenge that usually includes booking. So some of us are probably Wednesday morning or Tuesday before my, my weekly giveaway <laughs> doing our bookings. Um, but maybe pick a time each week that on your weekly plan sheet that's going to be your booking time. Next one, find a booking partner to book with for fun. This has been my armor um, in, in not wanting to get rejected. If my friend was rejected, it gave me strength and courage to be like her and just keep going also and, and watch. Um, also, just like team building, if you've been around uh, my team, very our team very often, one out of five signs up. So or both, or both writing down on paper each person we share with. And about your fifth or sixth person, you say, oh, I got a team member. And then you keep going. Oh, I got a team member. And it has nothing to do with yourself or your skills or if you repel people. I used to be terrified that I repelled people. It's literally just, you know, you need to share with two more people if you want a team member. You know, so same thing with this. It's actually one out of six says yes. Uh-oh, sorry. Uh, so I might go off one more time. I'm so sorry. Um, so anyways, just wanted to tell you guys that. Just, just know like, oh, if I make 12 calls, I'll get two bookings. If I make six times seven, if I make 42, I'm going to have seven bookings. How many appointments do I want? Well, that's how many calls I have to make. So, um, I love that. Okay. Have your booking tools. You want your bag, your scripts available. Um, so I have written here, phone charger, your names to call, pink highlighter, booking call tracking sheet. Um, so there's kind of like two different sheets. So I'll show you, uh, this is for my booking. Uh, me and our team right now are booking 10 parties each towards our Chevy Traverse because we haven't earned that yet. So the people I'm booking are my customers. So I printed out my customer list. So that happens to be who I'm booking. So I've called those, called four pages so far. Uh, my tracking sheet. Um, so I've got my customer list here. Sorry, I don't want to get it real confused. My tracking sheet. I'm having to use a bubble sheet right now because I'm not, um, I don't know that I'm going to reach out to them three times. Um, but a bubble sheet is kind of cool. It has 56 names on it. Let me show you. 
It has 56 names on it, and every time someone says yes, you bubble it in. So it's just fun. So that was like uh, the original. Not the original. That was the sheet that me and my friends used a lot. And then this new thing came out where they're like, let me see. I don't think I have it on here. But it takes like, sorry, it takes, I'm trying to not say like too much. It takes five attempts, they say, to make a sale just in the world out there. Not not just Mary Kay specifically. So um, that, that, in recruiting, we talk a lot about layering people. It just, it takes not just one time of talking to somebody that you're going to sell something. It might take one time and then you meet for an appointment and then you have coffee about the business and you have a second appointment. I don't know. Mary Kay's not like that. We sell pretty quickly, but um, maybe to get them to book. So to say yes to something for us. So this new thing came out where, where they say you want to reach out to people three times. So we've got three messages and they're in this little thing. I'll read you in a second. Three messages. Uh, the first one's like, hey, here's why I'm calling. Um, I'll give you a call in a few days in case you're a little busy. Second one is just reminding you about this thing. And the third one is you might be a little bit busy, so I'll follow up with you in a few months. So you're like leaving them a voice message followed by a little text. So that's six little touches they get from you. And then they might say no. They might say yes. They might... Uh, not say yes till the till two months later. Um, so that was kind of, I think, a little bit wiser system um, where I, I think you can still use the bubble sheet for it, but I, I created a little piece of paper where I wrote down each person that I called and I did, there has a little check mark, the date and check mark, date and check mark, date and check mark for each time I called and left a message. Um, there's three different messages for referrals. I call them R1, R2, and R3 that are in here um, of what to say. And I have them programmed in my phone, the text. So I just leave the message, I send the text. And then I call her two days later. Um, so anyways, you want some kind of system. You can totally just use your like contact list. I have a contact list um, normally. Uh, someone on our team has it confiscated it temporarily. Um, for where I put all my referrals in there, but I write down what happened and every time I call them there, but I like this or the bubble sheet to really, um, just see how I did this week or this month. And then I throw it away. And then I just have my contact list, um, my main contact list to continue to, um, reach out to people that haven't responded or that needed two months or that said, call me in June or that haven't responded yet. Some of them are good friends and some of them end up being just referrals that, um, that haven't responded yet. It's weird. Or some of them, their appointments in two weeks, you know? And so I like the pink highlighter about it, by the way, on here to highlight when someone says yes, that helps me kind of visualize things. I cross them out in my contact list when they say no. And then when they do a facial, I do a check mark because I like to like really quickly look at a list of, you know, 20 referrals and, and see on there three highlighted and one crossed off has consultant written next to it. Um, and this is, this is how I save my referrals, by the way. I just, you know, cut this off and paste it into my notebook, um, usually. So less time for me. Okay. So those are your things cell phone, pink highlighter, charger, names, some kind of booking tracking sheet to, to see where you are with who you're booking this month or this week. And then it says, have whatever you got to do, coffee, smoothies, fun coffee shops, some kind of reward. <laughs> I don't know why me and all my friends have always had some kind of reward. Um, like a smoothie after we make 20 calls or something like that. Um, this one's big. Know that you're giving a service, something that nobody else gives and does that's free. And they even get a gift. And you are the biggest part of the gift. You and your time that you are, you literally are giving your time, not expecting a sale. Although I think we expect that people are going to want to purchase because, and I even tell people at the beginning of the party, steal this line. It's really cute. You don't have to buy anything today, but watch out. You're going to want everything. I'm just warning you. And, and let them feel like this is just a gift. Your time is a gift, you know, and these prizes is a gift. And this fund that you're giving them is a gift. But also know Mary Kay's numbers are that one in five sign up if you kind of share with them. 
in the marketing plan and, and ask them the video questions or some closing questions. Uh, the average woman spends 50 to 100. So if you have five girls there, you're probably going to sell 400 bucks, you know. Um, so know the averages and expect, for me, it's easier to be like, expect God's going to like bless me versus um, expect from other people things, you know. Okay. Uh, let them hear your heart. So I, so I think it's really important to call versus text, um, unless you already know them, you know, uh, but these are strangers. So they got to hear your heart. So they feel comfortable. Um, it's the first step in the relationship building process that you have with her and booking, um, to coach the party. Um, and maybe she becomes a team member or customer for life. Like the first, like letting her hear you and hear your heart. I don't know that you can do that very well on a text. Um, so I, I like to call them text, call, text, call, text, uh, that system. I like that better. I don't know that I would respond to a text as well. I probably wouldn't care nowadays, but before, I don't know. And that last point, three attempts is key before you leave, before you leave her name and go on to the next set of women. Uh, but you will come back to her in a few months unless she says, no, I'm really big. This sounds crazy, but I have a lot of, even some of my little booking friends would, would kind of honestly probably feel rejected and get rid of those names because they didn't respond in a while. Uh, and for me, I'm like, uh, uh, I'm going to go until she tells me no, honestly, not because she's going to tell me yes. I don't know if she's going to or not. Um, but it takes me a while to get rid of them. I want to make sure that I reached out a couple of three times, you know, like at least a couple of times I reached out. I'm probably not going to like want to bug her after that. Um, because it creates like an abundance mentality that I have thousands, thousands of Lubbock names. I have probably a thousand Seminole names. I probably have probably 600 Hobbs names where I live right now. So so I like, I don't want to throw them away after trying one or two times, you know, like, I don't, I don't, I don't know if it's time yet. So, so I like to keep them and make sure you really go through them well. So it says three attempts is key before you leave her name. Don't throw it away. Go on to the next set of women, but you're going to come back to her in two months unless she says no, then she's off the list. Sorry. Then she's off the list. Um, also, if someone says I'm busy. Like I used to get really offended, honestly, because my parents, when I, if I, if I, not my parents, my dad, if I would call him at, at work, you know, during the day and he'd be like, I'm busy. Like, I don't know why it would hurt my heart, uh, for him to say he was busy. So then when someone would tell me they were busy, it felt, it hurt me. And then I really felt like God, <laughs> if you know me, I just talk like this. So just go with it. Um, was like, Hey, some girls, and sometimes I'm just talking to myself, like really encouraging, which was not normal with like depressive, like hopeless thoughts. So I know it's like God encouraging me in a way. Some people are just really busy. Like they really are. You know, those times when you're really busy, like there's just a lot going on. It doesn't last forever, but there might be a week or two where you're just really busy and overwhelmed. Some of these women that you're calling are really busy. So that gave me the thought the one, not take offense to have this like understanding of what's really going on in their lives, you know, and to offer, Hey, would it better if I like checked on you in a couple of weeks or a couple of months? Um, or actually I like to say, are you, do you think you might be a little bit less busy in a couple of weeks or maybe even a couple of months? And she's like, yeah, let's do a couple of months. Like if she's like moving or something big's going on or about to have a baby, you know, or bigger things. And I'd be like, awesome. Do you, do you mind if we like tentatively schedule something out there just so you're like on my schedule? Um, and we can even change the date around there, but I usually just do like a Tuesday or Thursday evening, um, or one of those days better for you. Yeah, maybe like a Tuesday. So see, I didn't even say, do you mind or, or, or what's better for you? I didn't even say, do you mind if we schedule something two or three weeks out? I didn't even like let her, I didn't even finish that one. I was like kind of asking her and then kind of went to pick a date, you know? So anyway, it's kind of like, um, highlight it pink when she says yes. So this little sheet is in your new consultant packet. I don't have the referral booking script in there um, because I really think it's important to do everybody that you know first anyways. Um, it says three coaching moments to make an appointment, stick and build relationships. I like to, once the appointment is booked, 
in my date book, I put three little squares to check mark. Like the first one is, hey, did I send her the little invite to send her friends out? Good. The second little box, so three boxes. The second one is, okay, did um, did I check on her and see if she got to send out her invites for her free mascara? Okay, good. And then the third one is the day of, did I remind her and her girls that said they were coming about the appointment and maybe give them the address and tell them I was excited to see them? Virtually, the little coaching moments, I still do that in my day book. Um, it would be, did I create the, the group and send her the invite to send her friends on Facebook group? Or, or if you're sending it virtually, did I send out the samples to her and her friends? Great. Did I post on the party, if it's a Facebook party, what some of the freebies and giveaways are and tag everybody and tell them I'm excited and do my three pre-party posts? Awesome. And then the last one is, did I set up my party and did I remind the hostess why I'm excited and get her to comment something fun on the page? You know, whatever. Coaching is really important to me, you can imagine. Um, Mary Kay said, booking gets it, coaching keeps it. Okay. How I get referrals at parties. I told you guys about the ticket game. Um, I like the word. It's really important to say, flip your, I, I learned this from Christy. Whenever she says, grab your piece of paper, grab your little piece of paper on the back side, flip it over to the back and grab a pen. If she says that, we all do it. And I don't know why. So you have to say, <laughs> grab your little paper, flip it over to the back side. Do you this question number 11? Grab a pen. It has a place for names and numbers. Sarah explains the numbers. Like, you're like, I'm going to give you a ticket for every name that you write down. So my words are right here um, for you to steal. They're very important. I like to do it during satin lips while they're kind of like scrubbing it in and kind of leaving it on for a second anyways. It has safflower oil, rich antioxidants, and vitamin E. And we just let it sit for a minute while we play this game. So that's just my like reason to like, it, we used to have an actual mask that would sit there. Tips to get lots of names. I told you I have written here Christie's tip. Turn over your paint card over the back side. Look at question number nine. Grab your cell phone, you know, uh, for a game to help you cheat. So you're giving them words and telling them what to do. Not in a rude way. Just telling them, directing them, and they'll do it without thinking. They'll just do it. Uh, Brandy Drigger says, most people write down 15 to 20 names. You heard me say that. I play a song. Um, and, of course, give them more than two minutes if they're, like, still finishing. Just let it just, they're all having fun. They're not worried. You're giving out tickets the whole time. Throw someone a candy. I don't know. I think I've got chocolate candy. Uh, person with the most tickets can get to extra tickets. Um, I tell them their friends will be invited to their second appointment uh, as well to honor their gift card. Um, okay. Referral booking script. Um, and then I gave props to Tiffany Parsley and a lot of my other booking friends and teachers who have taught me the different parts of it. Introduction. Reason I'm calling and what she gets. Hey, your friend had a facial with me recently. She loved it. It's a reason I'm calling. She got to give a few of her friends with a pampering package um, with a free facial microdermabrasion treatment and color consultation and a gift card from me to you. And she picked you on her list. Congratulations. Lots of enthusiasm. Have you ever tried Mary Kay before? I already told you that. It helps you see if she, um, what, what kind of, what appointment helps you see if she needs to know what the idea of what the appointment looks like and make sure she doesn't already have a consultant. I always use the words, teach her how to look young and hot forever. I'm going to teach you how to look young and hot forever. It's funny. How to do it yourself, anti-aging facial. Book her. Don't ask her if she's interested or pause for her to think. Just book her. Give her two options. What works best for you? Afternoons or evenings? Great. Uh, do you want to do, um, or Saturdays? This Saturday or next Saturday, whatever two options that you can give her, um, either specific dates or general dates to lead into specific dates. Pre-profile her. Here, I want her to feel like I'm going to help her with her skin and teach her something valuable. So kind of like a doctor. <laughs> what do you, what's your reason for coming in here today? Um, anyways, tell me about your skin. Is it oily, dry, normal, or crazy? What would you want to learn about your skin if you could learn or change something? Coach her about reminding her and Coach her about, I'm going to remind you, and about bringing friends. Sell her on what's in it for her. So those are the parts of it. And then I wrote down, check out Mindy rocking out the script. Let me finish with this, okay? Hi, Stephanie. My name is Mindy. You don't know me, but I know your friend, Melissa. I teach skincare and color with Mary Kay, and I had a facial with her recently, or you can say a while back, and she loved it. I asked who some of her friends were, um, if they were there that would have fun and want to do what she did, and she, uh, so she could gift you um, with a free facial and a color consultation and a gift card, um, and she picked you on her list, so congratulations. 
Oh, thank you. That's so sweet. Have you ever tried Mary Kay before? And then I put yes. Great. Do you have a Mary Kay consultant, someone who um, you've shopped with in the last, you know, year or so, or who, at least if someone gives some products in a timely manner, I just put in parentheses. Um, if yes, great. So we don't steal each other's customers in Mary Kay. So let her know you were gifted with this update facial um, and a gift card and see if she'll honor that for you. Awesome. No consultant. Awesome. Let me tell you a little about what we're going to do. It's a free facial where I teach you about your skin and how to stay young and hot forever. Um, you get a free microdermabrasion treatment um, at that. I don't know if you've heard about that. Have you heard of that before? Uh, yeah, it's um, $75 to $100 treatment that you get done um, at a spa uh, or dermatologist or like dark spots or discoloration. Yeah. Um, and then there's the color consultation where I'll teach you about your makeup and you can get a gift card um, for some free Mary Kay to spend on yourself. I'll come to you or you can come to me, whatever you prefer. Tell me, tell me what works best for you. Um, do you like weekdays or weekends? So right now with my schedule, I would say, do you like afternoons or evenings? Great. I have Tuesday evening. Oh, what was it? I've got Wednesday evening or I have... Thursday afternoon, which one's best for you? I don't know, whatever, whatever I have available, just give two options. And then, or you, if you only have one day a week, Wednesday nights is my Mary Kay. Great. I've got this Wednesday or next, which one's best for you? Great. Okay. I got you down. Now I want you to tell me a little about your skin. You also might need to figure out whether you're going to her place or mine. I really like to book my home studio. Um, but I really also like to go to their house sometimes too. So just whatever you, you could even ask her there. Um, I don't think I put that in there. Oh, no, I didn't put it there. Great. I got you down. Now tell me about your skin. Are you normal, dry, oily, crazy? If you could change one thing, what would it be? Great. Coaching. Uh oh, last thing. Um, if you could think of some friends who could use a little extra pampering and then right here has a place for like a goal. Um, can you think of any friends who could use a little extra pampering? I will give you extra on your gift card. I like to actually say lately that you can have up to six friends with you because it just makes it sound cool. Um, if you could think of a few friends who could use a little extra pampering, you can have, sorry, I'm writing that down, up to six friends join you um, and you get extra on your gift card. Um, or it says, you can tell them about your, like if I, I have on here towards my Cadillac, pink Cadillac goal, I'm giving away extra free. Um, this one says, as an idea, you get a $5 gift card for each friend that comes extra on your gift card. So that's an idea. If you have five ladies join you, you can have a hundred dollar shopping spree for just 35 if there's some things that you fall in love with. So those are just ideas on there. Um, we have this new hostess program that they get a mascara for like, booking the party and inviting their friends. And of course they have to show up that day <laughs> to have their mascara, right? Um, and probably have some friends there, right? To get their mascara. So it's kind of her hostess gift. And then 10% of the sales. So I would just stick with that. I just get, you just get extra free. I should cross it off. That just was my old thing I used to do. I just, I like this new one a lot. Um, I'll send you a text that you can send to invite some friends. Um, who can you think of that could use a little extra pampering? I'm going to update this. Who can you think of who could use a little extra pampering? Great. Um, you might, just a, I, just a thought for her, you might want to, to get, you know, your six girls to come. You might want to go a little bit big and invite like three times that. So 18 to 20 girls. If you want your, to have your six come, which would be the most free, um, and then talks about the free mascara. And then you and your friends um, are going to RSVP. Your friends will text me back to RSVP for a swag bag. This is a gift bag with some mini products in it. Tell me for your swag bag, do you like skincare or color? And those are my general goodie bags that you guys will see. I always have made up. The skincare has a hand cream and microderm or eye cream sample. And the color bag has a mini mascara and a color card in it. You prefer more skincare or color for your swag bag. Awesome. Thank you. I'll send you the invite right now, and I can't wait to meet you. See you soon. Bye, girl. So that is it. And then I also have the scripts for um, what you say when you leave a message and then text the three different times if she does not respond. And then I also have 
the text that you send her to invite her friends, the cute little picture with the date and time on it, that just so you know says, hey Jeannie, I'll start getting gifts together for you and your friends. I'm so excited to give them to you and your girls. Go ahead and copy and send the two texts below. I would go ahead and send it to about 15 people. That way six or seven will show. If all 15 RSVP, I'll just have to go ahead and break the rules and give you more free. Excited to meet with you. I'll keep you posted on who responds. If I get responses starting tonight, you'll get a free mascara when you invite 15. Um, you, it could just be you get a free mascara. I think I added when you have 15. And then her invite that she sends her friends says, Hi, friend. I'm super excited. I was gifted with a spa experience package for myself and up to seven of my friends from Mary Kay. You know how much I love you. So you're one of the seven I picked. See invitation below. Part of my package is that you get a customized swag bag with some fun products in it. Can you text Mindy 806 to 8 Zone with your RSVP so that she can make sure she customizes your swag bag with products you will love? Fresh mark exclamation point. I think that's it. I might have some other ideas of what to say when I remind her about her appointments for you too. So that is everything. Congratulations. You are trained on referrals. I hope you enjoy it. Please let me know if you have problems with it or questions or want to practice.